good this all smells. Now, when the guests come to the party, you've got to have food. But if you do the prep, you can actually relax during the party. And Randy's going to show us how to do that. So you are a master at making good food, but doing minimal. Minimal, minimal effort. You do the prep. You do all the prep. You get all your mise en place ready. And then when people come over, you want to give them a bit of show. You want to pretend that you're doing something. <laughs> but really, you're just kind of socializing. The and then you're like, on your face. you know, if you're tired of that conversation, I got to go do this over I here. Go do this. And you know what I mean? And you get yeah. things done. But you also kind of give them a bit of a show. Yes. So we're going to do a, a, an olive oil flatbread. Oh, yeah, but like, look right. at this. Look it's at this gorgeous. beautiful spread. If you were to show up at Randy's and you saw this, you'd be like, man, this is a party. Couple vegetarian this options, right? We've got some zucchini ribbons with mint. Oh. We've got like the Spanish tomato bread with uh, burrata. Mm, then we have like the the mortadella, which <gasps> is really like it's just fancy bologna, but it's like oh, and it's got the pistachios and the gherkins, and then we've got the avocado oh, so toast with smoked salmon, right? All fantastic. Now, you can do it where you have the ingredients out and people can pick their own and kind of make their own. Yeah. But you kind of want to lead them to water, too. You kind of want to show okay. them away. So Help them out of it. Let's, I'm going to show you how easy this is. You ready? So am I pretending I'm a you're, guest? No, you're getting in there. Yeah, let's okay. do this. Like, this, is part of the, this is part of the action. Okay. Right? And then if they mess it up, you can blame it on them. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, come on. It's <laughs> so not my fault. Basically, you just buy some pizza dough, right, or flatbread yeah. dough. And it's all about the fingers. You want to keep it long. Make sure so you have nice long nails like mine. Yes, yeah, so it really makes works it out so well, much easier. Mm -hmm. You're getting there. And you don't want to force it too heavy. So okay. leave the dough out for like a good hour before you get there. Yep. And then make sure you get it like a like a good place, like I don't know, your local bakery or something like that. You want the good dough. You want the good dough because okay. then once you spread it out, it stays out. Right. You know when you buy the stuff from like the grocery <laughs> store and you're like, you go like this and <laughs> you're like right? So you know doing? try to go find it a trusted joint. Okay. Okay, how you feel? I feel pretty good. You feel pretty good? Yeah. Do you want to like compare? No. No, come on. <laughs> Let's okay. Slow. You're there. Give, right? it, give it a little of this. And this is the beautiful Maybe a thing. Bit. It's really not difficult. You can do it in the air. You can throw it around. You can do it on the counter. But now what we're gonna do? You ready? Yep. Put a little bit of oil. You oh, we're gonna oil. we're gonna do it like a. We're gonna tortilla. do this because listen. It might be like cold outside. You might not want to fire the pizza oven up outside. Everyone's got a stove top. And a, a really really good chef of mine back in the day yeah. said to me, if you don't want to mess it up. Put it on the stove. Okay, good. Like, you know, the second a cook puts a tray of nuts in the oven, you're going to smell them burning 20 minutes later because nobody can see them. Right. But if you're cooking the nuts on the stove, you know, oh, you're going to watch point. them and see them, right? Yeah, they're going to be so right the there. So the flatbread goes in. Okay. And check this out. So then you're just going to, like, bubble it, and in all honesty, it's a minute later, and they're good to go. Amazing. So, so you're just turning these out, turning these out, turning, turning these out. these out completely, right? Right. And then your guests come. Your guests come, and you can just kind of chop them up, and away you go. But listen to me. Like, I kind of made these kind of as the classics. Mm -hmm. But as your guests come, they're going to be, like, having some of those Negronis we were talking about. And they're like, I think the mortadella would taste better with the zucchini. And they do that. Do and you so, you, you know, you kind of, as, right. as it messes up, and it goes, yeah. and you can cut them smaller in the beginning, and everyone can have little bite-sized pieces, but you know by like midnight they're going to be just full ones, and they'll be eating two of them, and they'll be making oh, sandwiches yeah. with oh, them. Oh no, they're just they rolling go, up right? the dough and eating it, right? Like smashing do. it. So then basically you just take it and caramelize one side. Oh, and that look, looks look so that. good! Like 30 seconds later. That, I don't yeah. need any more than that. You can do that too. Yeah. Little, little, little cheese. That's good to me. I love that.